Hi there, my name is James Mobley and I'm a PhD student at the University of Oxford. Today, I'd like to share with you some of the insights from my paper, The Implications of Endogenous Cognitive Discounting. Cognitive discounting, or the notion that firms and consumers don't pay full attention to the future when making decisions today, has become a popular way to resolve puzzles in the new Keynesian model. Now, the prevailing approach in the literature has been to assume that the degree of discounting is exogenous when analysing behaviour on Keynesian models. In this paper, I ask, do the predictions of the model change materially when discounting is instead considered endogenous? And I find that the answer is yes. Both the theoretical predictions of the model and the results one obtains when estimating the model change very considerably when discounting is endogenized. Let me give you a couple of examples. The first is the determinacy condition. Now, one of the main predictions of the exogenous discounting model is that the model can be determinate even with an interest rate peg. But under endogenous discounting, I show that indeterminate equilibria always exist whenever the rational expectations Taylor principle is violated. I also analyze the effectiveness of different policy regimes, such as average inflation targeting. Now, previous studies have shown that the power of average inflation targeting is much reduced under exogenous discounting. But I show that when discounting is endogenized, average inflation targeting is much more effective. Why? Because average inflation targeting endogenously reduces the extent to which agents pay attention to the future, thereby lowering the degree of macroeconomic volatility. There are several other theoretical and empirical applications in the paper, which I don't have time to go through in this video. But if you'd like to learn more, the paper is available on my website. Any comments or questions that you have are really valuable to me, so please feel free to get in touch. Thanks for listening.